Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and we're starting the month with some of the best new apps you can get on your device in August 2024. Now we have some brand new apps and we have some updated apps like this one right here called Usage, which is a pretty cool app that allows to monitor your device. Things from your network data to your network activity, your hard disk usage right there with RAM memory, battery and all that good stuff. But what's really cool about this app is the widgets. It offers a ton of different widgets and here we have some examples of these widgets right here. We have one for the memory right there. We have one with the information regarding the device like the iOS version and the uptime right there. And this one for the battery right here is pretty cool. So it will show you the percentage of the battery, but it will also show you right there the milliamp hours of the battery. Of course, the capacity of the battery and then how much you have charged on your iPhone. The next app for the video is called Emoji Locker. Now this is pretty useful. So what you have to do with this app is go to the app and go right here. You will have your emojis in the different categories or you can just view all the emojis right there. Now you can select your favorite emojis or the emojis that you need to use more frequently and then once you have done that, of course, you can edit these at any time. What you'll have to do is go to your settings and then go under general go to your keyboard settings right here go to keyboards and make sure you add it right here so here we have emoji locker and now you're done now what you will get is a keyboard dedicated for your favorite emojis so anytime i need to add an emoji i will have my favorite saved right there i just tap here and it switches directly to that keyboard from where, of course, I can just go ahead and add any of my favorite emojis. And we have a button here to quickly go back to the main keyboard. The next app for the video is called Calculator Key. Now, this is a calculator app, but it's a bit different from other calculator apps. Now, you can use the app right here. You can even add it to your home screen as a widget and from there calculate directly from the home screen. But you can also have a calculator on your dynamic island as well as on your lock screen. So we tap right there, it will start the live activity. So if I just go out here, you can see I have the calculator right there and I have all the different functions right here for the calculator. I can just go ahead and calculate here anything I want. Now this, of course, it might be a bit slow sometimes, but it's actually pretty cool just having a calculator right on your lock screen and your live activity as well. So if we go on the lock screen, you can see here we do also have the calculator and of course it works right here on the lock screen. Next up is Watch Faces Club. Now this is the app for you if you own an Apple Watch. So once you have installed this app on your device, you open it, it will require you to select the type of Apple Watch you have. Once you have done that, then it will show you right here the watch faces for your Apple Watch. You can see some pretty cool watch faces right here that you can, of course, download to your Apple Watch. Pretty cool, you can just go ahead and swipe here to switch between different kinds of watch faces. These are awesome. And you will have here different categories, like the weather ones. You will have some neon ones right here. You can see these old school ones, how cool do they look? And of course we have even more. You can go to club right here and you will have watch faces uploaded from the community. You can create your own right here. You will also have like a top list right here, the top 100 watch faces from the app. You can just go ahead and scroll down here and of course select any watch face you want. Tap here and directly install it to your Apple Watch. Next up, we have a wallpaper app called Oh My Wall. It offers some pretty cool high resolution wallpapers for your device. So at the top right there, we have all kinds of different categories of wallpapers, which you can browse. You find one that you like, of course, you can tap right there, download your device or save it as a favorite. So you can see how cool these wallpapers are. And you will have here like different categories that you can browse. And of course, you will also have here a section for your favorite ones. Now, on any of these section right here, you will find like a search bar where you can just go ahead and search for any wallpaper that you need. 
Next up is one of my favorite apps from this list. It is called Mac Tracker. It is a pretty cool app as it allows us to explore all the different Apple devices and basically view any information you need to know regarding those devices. So you can search for any device right here, any Mac, any iPhone, anything you need. Then you will have your device right there. So if I tap on my device, it will basically show me here anything I need to know regarding this device. We can go back here and we'll have our favorites, the current models right there. So if we go right here, we can see the current latest models from Apple for any of their types of devices. And then we have here the desktops, notebooks, different servers, different devices right here, the software as well. So if you just want to see information regarding different software, you can just go ahead and it will show you all kinds of different information regarding Apple software and of course, Apple devices as well. For any device, you can view all the information like the basically release date, the discounted date, the price, anything else you need. Next up is Phone Doctor. Now, Phone Doctor is an app that I would recommend you install on your device, especially if you're trying to buy a used device. Now, what this will do is actually allow you to test the device. You can test different things on the device, like the microphone, you can see right here, front microphone, rear microphone, speaker, receiver, vibration, the flashlight, button microphone, all these can actually be tested. So you will have like a general section here, then you will have a more pro version here where you can just go ahead and test one by one all the different like sensors of the, of the device. And then under general right here, you can tap to start. It will start testing all the components of your iPhone and it's really, really good. Once it's done, it will show you a list here with all the components and of course the results. Next up is Blur ID. Now, Blur ID is a pretty useful app that will automatically blur sensitive data on your photos. Like if you have a photo, maybe of an ID or something, it will automatically hide all the sensitive data. Now, I'm not showing a document here. We're just showing here like a regular screenshot. But even with that, I can just go ahead and cover here anything I want. So I can just tap on these like anything that is written here. If it is an image of a person, you can tap on it, it will cover the face and all that stuff. So it's really, really easy to use. Now, of course, you can again tap on that if you just want to undo that. Once you're done, you tap the button right here, you save it and you're good to go. QR Pop is the next app for the video. It allows us to create a QR code for pretty much anything. You will also have a scanner here, we'll have your archive, we will have all your saved QR codes. But it's actually very, very easy to use. You tap right there. In this case, I want to create a QR code for a phone number. I enter the phone number right here, but it also lets me customize the design of the QR code. So the pixels right here, I can change the color. I can change the shape. As you can see, you will have here the eyes as well. You can see we have, of course, the normal square ones. We can just go ahead and change that as well. The background as well. We can change the color. So it's pretty cool. Actually, you can customize and create any QR code you need. And last but not least is Checker. Now with Checker, you can keep track of pretty much anything you want. Let's say you want to keep track of your weight or maybe a diet. You just go ahead and add it right here. Choose anything you want here. You can track the amounts by enabling this button and then you will have the list here. So if I go to my diet, I can add and remove different things here. In this case, I will be adding, of course, food that I eat during the day. And it will show me here my daily limit and my weekly limit. And of course, everything that I have added. So it's pretty easy to use. And you can just basically create different lists and keep track of pretty much anything you need. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the apps. If you want to download any of these apps, make sure to check out the pinned comment. That is it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next one.